Today we're going to take an in-depth look at LCD damage, the different types of damage, and what they really look like underneath the lens. This headset got sent in to us because its LCD has failed, and if you take a look inside the lens, you can see that it's just got this blue bar that goes across the whole thing because the LCD has damage on it. It's not displaying properly, so what we need to do is replace this LCD, but before we do that, I kind of want to show you what it looks like without the lenses on here, and then we'll take a look at some other LCDs that have different types of damage. If I want to take one of these lenses off, I'm going to have to warm up the adhesive that keeps it in with a hot air gun, and then I'll use a pry tool to gently pop it out. Actually, this gives me a much better view of the USB update mode. If it wasn't for the fact that I had to remove the lens, this would be a great way to film some of these videos to show you exactly what's going on here. So we'll power off this device. In order to test the new LCD, I'm going to have to disassemble pretty much everything. So I'm going to do that now, and then we'll test out a couple other LCDs just so that we can see some other types of damage. So I've torn down this headset enough to where I could plug in another LCD and it's actually really easy to test these because they plug in upside down so I don't even have to take the bad LCD out if I wanted to test a good one. But I've taken the lenses off this so that you could kind of see what sun damage looks like on the inside and it's surprisingly small. See that little yellow dot there? That's what sun damage looks like without the magnification lens on it. Just little bitty dots. On a side note, I think it's really cool to see the Meta logo kind of across both screens like this. It looks kind of cool. I don't know. I tried to find an LCD that had pretty bad sun damage, like worse than just a couple specs. So let's take a look at this one. It'll boot up. This one came out of the trash bin. So we'll see. There we go. Yeah, so this one, the sun damage is a little worse and just a couple specs on that side but you can see it didn't take much to ruin the entire experience this is why people always say you know don't leave it out in the sun even for just a little bit because it doesn't take it doesn't take much i did decide to spare you guys the entire lcd installation process if you're curious about that i do have a full video on how to do an installation for an lcd and how that repair works but uh, as you can see now we've gone ahead and replaced this lcd and everything's working now there's no failure and that blue line that was going through the meta logo is is now gone so we'll go ahead and button this one back up and she'll be ready to go back home Guys, if you learned something today or you just thought the video was really cool, I'd appreciate it if you give us that like and that subscribe. Um, it really helps us out. Then it helps us grow our channel so that hopefully we can help other people repair their VR devices as well. As always, if you have any other questions or you'd like to see a specific repair or repair process or parts disassembly, uh, just let us know in the comments. This was a really cool video to do and I'm glad that we could kind of take a up close look at sun damage and what a broken LCD looks like on the inside. But that's all I got for you guys today. We'll see you guys on the next one.